How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Martin with Bellevue Auto Spa. Um, if you're new to the channel, please uh, hit that subscribe button. You won't regret it, I promise you. Um, returning viewers, thank you for coming back again. And don't forget to hit that like button because I know you're going to love this video. So, this is, um, as you can tell by the title, this is Superior Images Wheel X Brake Dust and Iron Remover. Uh, so, it's an iron remover. Um, I don't know if it foams up like a wheel cleaner. We're going to see. In their promotional materials, they do put this in a foam cannon as well. Uh, undiluted, just straight in a foam cannon and, and foam it on. So that's another way you can use it. I'm not going to use it that way because iron removers are expensive. Um, I mean, if you got the money, go ahead. So the price for this is $16.99 for a 16-ounce bottle. These are prices from Amazon right now. $16.99 for a 16-ounce bottle and... Uh, what is it? $69.99 for a gallon, so 70 bucks a gallon is a little, little pricey. But again, check their website. Sometimes they have uh, promos and deals where you can get, you know, buy one, get one, discounts, things of that nature. So that, it's definitely worth checking out their website. Uh, whether you order from Amazon or their website, they still are shipping it from their warehouse. Regardless, it's not shipping from an Amazon warehouse, so it is going to take a few days to get to you. Um, yeah, color reactive formula, acid free, chemical oversea. So something that's interesting i didn't look up the sds this said acid free i think they're referring to the ph level uh, most iron removers have a ph of five to six it is on the acid side but it's close to base or neutral which is seven it's not going to damage anything as long as you don't let it dry okay that's very important don't let it dry don't use it on hot wheels um, if it dries it can damage certain finishes it can stain your paint uh, but as long as you, you keep it wet work it in rinse it off you're gonna be fine um, so the thing about acid free is most iron removers are actually a, sulf a sulfur based acid is the active ingredient so I find that interesting they call it acid free but I think they're referring to the pH because um, the, sulf the sulfur based acid is what actually dissolves uh, iron fallout iron oxide so it doesn't actually damage iron it's iron oxides that it damages so keep that in mind anyways here is the back so yeah, don't use direct sunlight, spray directly on the wheel, wait for color to change, spray or rinse off. So it doesn't say anything about agitation. Um, what is that sound? Oh, my God. oh this guy's starting up his, uh, see do. Anyways, yeah, keep it out of reach of children, all that good stuff. So we're going to get over to the wheel, we're going to test it out, uh, we're going to see how it works. Um, opening the bottle, it smells just like iron remover, you know, that kind of rotten egg smell, so it doesn't smell too great, but... It is what it is. But anyways, yeah, so Superior Image, um, <clears throat> great company. If you see my video about, you know, all the stuff they sent me, uh, they sent me most of this for free, not all of it. Some of it I did buy. Um, they've been around for a while, so they're not just another company trying to be Atoms or Chemical Guys. Uh, they, they make all their own chemicals. They've been around for a long time. Uh, they started making their own chemicals uh, a few years ago. Uh, well, not they've been making their own chemicals for a long time. They started their Superior Image line a few years ago before the company that owns them is called Steel Image. They've been a detailing supplier for a long, long time based out of Arizona. But anyways, let's get over to the wheel and uh, let's, let's, let's get down to business see how this stuff works. Alright, I do have a brush right here. Oh my god, my freaking dog, man. Alright, I <laughs> shut him up. Anyways, I got a wheel here. It's uh, my wife's car. Wheel's pretty dirty. Um, we're going to see how this reacts. Go ahead and spray it on. I'll spray a good amount on just so you can really get an idea. I can see it already turning purple, already pulling away all that uh, brake dust, grease, and grime, and everything. So, pretty good. But I'm gonna let it dwell there for a little bit and then rinse it off and see how, uh, see how it does. A little bit more on there. Now, from the distance I'm at, it doesn't, I don't really smell anything. It doesn't smell too bad, but um, it's really going to depend on your environment. It, we do have a nice little breeze right now, and it's kind of blowing that way. So, but yeah, this is, ooh, it's reacting nicely. So, definitely, definitely a good product as far as the reaction goes. So let's give it a rinse. All 
All right, dog started going crazy there again. <laughs> but as you can see, um, I mean, this is a really hammered wheel, so I didn't expect spray and rinse to work here. I'm not using a pressure washer this time. Um, but I mean, that reacted pretty well. So I'm gonna spray it again. I can see it reacting a lot more with the inner barrel. So, still reacting with the face a little bit, so it does look like it took a lot of the iron off. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this barrel out and we'll see how this uh, works as a cleaner and foams up. It does foam up nicely, so you can definitely tell I got some added cleaning detergents in there. It was my freaking dog again. Dog's a great Pyrenees mix. He loves the bark of stuff. And then I'll just kind of get the faces of these wheels a little bit. This isn't going to be perfect. <laughs> I'm too lazy to grab the other brush. Endurance. Alright, now the wheel's definitely looking a lot better, um, especially with the iron remover to clean that barrel out. Usually if I use non-acid wheel cleaners, that barrel's still like stained with uh, rust and brake dust. But definitely looking a lot better this time. Just rinsing this out. Let's go try one more wheel, it's uh, not so dirty. So oddly enough, the front wheels usually don't tend to get as dirty as the back wheels in this car, but I can see a lot of brake dust on here, so. Just wanna, again, just see how this stuff reacts with iron deposits. I'll let that sit for a minute. I'll come back. I'll come back in a minute or two. All right, it's been about a minute, so see, definitely getting some reaction. Again, this wheel's not as bad, so it's not as bad as the other wheel. So, um, but I mean, yeah. So you can see, even with minimal contamination, we still get a reaction, which is pretty good. So go ahead and rinse that off. Wrong setting. Now, if you can see the runoff, there's a good amount in there. But yeah, there it is. Superior Image Wheel X Iron Remover. Pretty good stuff, honestly. I'm, uh, I'm impressed by it. It does what it says it does, and it does it well. Let's go in for final thoughts. Another great product from Superior Image. Uh, they have yet to let me down with any of their products I tried. Um, I tried other brands that are in a similar boat, you know, making their own products in a local area not local to me but local to their small area instead of you know being all over the place uh ryan west industries i've tried which they were mostly good except for one product i tried um but so far superior image has has been great everything's been great uh wheel x this is a really good iron remover um i definitely put it up there with car pros iron x mcguire's wheel and paint iron decon and even uh the turtle wax rapid decon that i've used which is, is pretty freaking good um, you know, it, it, it stinks. They all stink. They all smell. So just expect that. It's not cheap, so you don't want to burn through it unless you don't mind. Um, 
but everything about this stuff is good it works great so I would be more than happy using this to as a wheel cleaner on some uh, nice wheels or to decon wheels as well as paint decon so you guys killed it with this one guys and uh, your labeling looks great so uh, thanks for sending me this um, I definitely appreciate it guys if you're interested in purchasing this or anything else check the links below I'll have, I post all my links below for anything that I use um, other than that, I appreciate you watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Again, if you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. Keep them clean. Have a good one.